In this session, we want to demonstrate the installation of Azure Active Directory PowerShell. And we also want to demonstrate the deletion, the permanent deletion of a user from Office 365. So we're going to the download site to download Azure Active Directory PowerShell module. We're going to click on the download button. We're going to select the second option for the 64-bit installation. And we're installing on server 2016. We're going to click next to continue. And we're going to allow once for this pop-up. And we're going to run the installation. Now I'm going to be going pretty slowly in this module. Accept the terms so that you can make notes. And we're going to click on finish. Especially when we get to the PowerShell bit, I'm going to want the class to make sure and take down the notes. So you have the PowerShell commandlets. We want to run PowerShell. And remember, you want to do it from an administrative prompt. And at the administrative prompt, we want to install the module. And make sure that you know these commands for your exam. And also know the order in which they come. So you're going to install the module MS Online. You want to press Enter and wait. At this point, you need to answer before you continue. And you're going to get another prompt where you will need to answer either Y or A. And this one is the untrusted repository. So we're going to answer A to that one. And you can see the installation going through. We're now installing the module Azure AD Preview. And again, for the untrusted repository, you have to give an answer before you can continue. And we're going to be typing A for all. And again, you can see the installation has gone through. And now we're at the command prompt. We're going to type a command just to make sure that we have the PowerShell module. And the command that we're going to type is just get command module ms. Before we type that command, we need to connect to the service, connect msol service and we need to sign in you know sign in with your office 365 account
on Microsoft.com. Then you're going to click on next to type the password. Once we are at the prompt, we want to check to make sure that we do have the commandlets. So we're going to type the get command module ms. Just to make sure that we do have the commandlets and we are in Azure. Active Directory PowerShell. Please make sure that you take note of these commandlets. I can't stress that enough. There you go. Now we know that we're in. And we now need to type the command that is going to remove the user from the deleted bin. We already have a user called Pam Bino, and we deleted Pam from Azure. But you, when you delete a user, that user is not deleted permanently. The user goes into the deleted user's container and that user will remain there for 30 days. So what we're doing now is removing the user permanently. If you don't want that user to remain in the recycle bin for those 30 days, you have to have the PowerShell module and you actually have to remove the user using PowerShell. You can see the command, remove msol user. Then you have the user principal name parameter. And then you're going to type the user principal name of the user, which would be the user at the user's domain. And then you type remove from recycle bin. And that should do the trick. So we will see what happens. Once we have done that, then we're going to go and check into the deleted container to make sure that the user is gone. We're going to now go into Azure Active Directory to make sure that that user is permanently deleted. So we're going to click on Azure Active Directory. We want to select users. Then what we want to do is to click on deleted users, which is the container that Pambino would have been put in 
and ordinarily she would stay there for 30 days. But because we did the deletion using PowerShell, that user should be removed permanently from the deleted user's container. Let's take a look. And we see that the user is gone. There is no user in the container. And we know that our permanent deletion was successful. Please be sure to pay close attention to the PowerShell commandlets that we use for the installation of Azure PowerShell, Azure Active Directory PowerShell, and also the commandlets that we use to remove that user permanently. You will see those questions come in your way. So again, pay careful attention to the commandlets. This is the end of our session, and I want to thank you for listening.